Next on Fox, justice for a murdered couple from DeSoto. More than 25 years since Zelma and James Long were killed, the state of Missouri delivers a lethal injection. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal is live tonight from Bon Terre with the final words of the convicted killer that he left behind. Jeff. Carmen Decca convicted of killing the Longs who begged for their lives to be spared back in 1996. Well, tonight he was pronounced dead at 10 minutes after 6 o'clock. Tonight, justice was served. Missouri's corrections director reading a statement from the state's governor about the execution of Carmen Deck. The Department of Corrections carried out the sentence recommended by the jury and ordered by the court. Our thoughts remain with the victim's family members and hope that they can find closure. These were the tears shed in 1996 after investigators said Deck knocked on the door of Zelma and James Long, asked for directions. They invited him inside. He pulled a gun and demanded money. The prosecution said the couple pleaded with Deck to take whatever he wanted and said, just don't hurt us. But he shot them both in the head, grabbed their money and left. James and Zelma Long were innocent victims of Carmen Deck's heinous violence. Deck did offer a final statement, expressing hope the world will find peace someday. His final words reading, please give love, show love, be love. That, you know, it's not justice. Um, killing someone because they killed someone does not sound very sound in, in stopping killing. That's not the way to go. Groups protesting the execution say those on the receiving end of the death sentence are often poor, lack the means to mount a successful defense, and suffer from underlying problems. Demonstrators say Deck suffered sexual abuse and beatings as a child and that he and his siblings were often left alone without food. I don't believe killing somebody, executing somebody for that is going to change anything. Friends and former neighbors of the Longs tell me their family has waited a long time for this day and believe justice was served. There were 14 members of the Long family who came to Bon Terre to witness the execution. They chose not to make a statement tonight. Now, Deck's sister was also convicted of being a part of that deadly robbery. She is serving a 70-year sentence in a Missouri prison. Reporting live from Bon Terre tonight, Jeff Berthal, Fox 2 News.